I'm Ethan Kwan and welcome to part three of how to make a shooter scratch game, I guess. <laughs> I, I, we don't really have a name yet. Um, like, like for this game, uh, no name. Um, please suggest names in the comments down below. Um, <laughs> okay, so, um, so uh, let, let's look at where we left off. So we left off with this pretty fun shooter game with points and lives and um, new type of enemy that just kind of spins around like this and explosions and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so um, uh, here's one thing I want to add. So, um, so first of all, the green ones are a little bit too easy to destroy. So I'm gonna change this to three lives. Um, that because that's lives, and let's just see how that looks. Um, let's see. Wait for that. Okay. Okay. Okay, no, that's pretty good, I think. Um, okay, so, uh, one more thing I wanted to add is, um, the green ones are a little bit too easy to destroy, so I'm gonna change the score to, like, maybe, like, five only. So let's just see how that feels. You, this is, this is your choice. You can, you can make them, um, as much score as you want, but, um, I, I, I just want to use this, Okay. So that, that's just my preparation. You guys can change, um, for your game, you guys can change, like, how much health each thing has and how much, you know, um, like, how, how much health you have and that kind of thing. Okay, so, um, uh, one thing I want to add is this score counter, it doesn't really look that good. So I, I'm going to change that. So I'm going to be making a little um, counter, like an actual sprite for the counter. So, um, this is just going to be an overview on how to make a counter. So, uh, so what we're going to do is just going to paint a sprite and let's zoom in and we're going to go to text and change this to like that and then change the font if you want, try serif and we're just going to write down all the numbers from one and uh, that doesn't look that good. I'm going to try, uh, sans serif, um, one and uh, that, that looks better. Okay. And I'm just going to duplicate this, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 1, make this 2, make this 3, make this 4, make this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and finally, 0. Okay, now, let's go to the code. Now we have all six, uh, all eight, 10 digits, so, um... First of all, let's, so we're gonna have to create clones, right? So we're, we want digit, 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 right? So uh, what we're gonna have to do is go to events. Uh, when green flag clicked, um, I'm gonna hide the original sprite. And then when, uh, and then I'm gonna create a bunch of clones. So this kind of depends on how long you want your score thing to be. So I'm just gonna be, just to be safe, I'm gonna do 10. Uh, because that'll give us 10 digits and that'll give us what what is that um, a billion of score so um, so you don't have to make it that big but uh, it, in, if you want to you can make it huge like 30 and that'll give you what like 29 10 to the 29 amount of score uh, that's just to be safe but I, I like um, I'll, I think I like 10 or 20 uh, I'll do 15 just to be safe okay so uh, repeat 15 times I'm gonna create a clone of myself, and then I'm also gonna create a new variable. Uh, I'm gonna call it, I don't know, digit, or number, or, I, I'm not sure, um, place? Sure, place, why not? Okay, and I, make sure to click for this sprite only. Okay, so at the beginning, we're gonna set place to zero, and before the create clone, we're gonna change um, place by one. So now each, um, each clone will have a different place. Now, um, for the, uh, when I start as a clone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, um, let's see, forever. Um, and, uh, let, let's see. Um, so, um, so what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to show, show, actually, no, let's, let's hide. Yeah, hide. Okay, so, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say, uh, well, first of all, let's go to front layer, just in case. Go to front layer, in, inside the forever. 
forever go to front layer and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a go to XY and this is because I want to um, position the, these sprites here but I can't like put a concrete value on this because well um, the problem is um, because the all the all the clones will pile up so we have to do something involving the uh, place number, uh, place variable, right? So maybe around here wouldn't be nice. So I'm just gonna get this here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna say 120 just in case, okay? Uh, just so it's a right, nice round number. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, the place variable, and then I'm gonna multiply that by something like 15. Right? And that's going to be determining the separation between the two numbers. And then we're going to subtract, so it goes to the left, um, I don't know, 200. So let's look let's see how that looks. Drag that in there. Oh, and we have to show it, of course. Um, show. Right, um, let's just show it for now, to just to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's 15 digits, so let's just move it over a little bit. And I'm not going to erase the spawning of the um, clones for now, so I'm just going to drag that out here. See if... Okay. So that looks okay, but I'm going to move all of them over a little bit, so maybe negative uh, 220? Um, 30. 230. 40? Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. But here's the problem, um, and my computer's going slow now for some reason. Um, that's strange. Why is it going slow? Okay, um, I, I'm just gonna get rid of these other tabs here and just hope for the best. Okay. Hmm, that's still... Okay, um, I'm gonna have to fix this. One sec. Okay, so it just looks like it. my computer's going slow, so, um... Sorry, um, yeah. Okay, so, as you can see, my computer's going really slow. Um, that's weird. Uh, uh it, it doesn't, it, it didn't do that. So, anyway. Uh, so this gives us numbers, right? And, oh, and I disabled the other enemies movement spawning too, so it doesn't, like, doesn't do anything. Okay, so. Um, so inside here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a, uh, we're gonna check if it's, um, it, if it should be visible or not. So, we're gonna drag a um, if then else. Put that out there, get rid of that. Okay, if then else. So, if, um, if the digits is longer than, okay. So, if the Okay, so uh, I just have to check. So, um, so the after inside the if then else we're gonna do is um, if the length of score, right? So that's gonna be like if it's like seventeen, right? There are two digits there, so the length is gonna be two. So if the, that's shorter than your place, right? So um, like if if the place is, I don't know, like three. So if I if I show these, for example, um, if I show these, all right. So if if this means if your place one two three is greater than three, right, uh, less than three, right. If if the length, so for example, if the length was if the number of the score was like seventeen, right, uh, that would just fill up two digits. So that's why the length of score is in there. If the length of, of score is less than your place, which in this case, if for this digit it is less, uh, then it would hide, right? So hide, right? And then if it is, if it is shorter, then show. And as you can see, it already fixed it that um, it's the score is only. Uh, one digit, the number zero, so um, there's only one digit there. Okay, now, uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna say um, switch costume to, and then um, we're gonna say, let's see, 
Oh, and we have to name these actually. So we have to name these um, one, two, uh, three, four, zero. Five. Okay. So um, switch costume two, and then we're gonna have to do um, letter, and then your place of score, right? Because that's that's just the the place, like where, like the one ten hundredth place of your score, right? So in this case, your score is zero, and so actually, if I enable this one, if I enable this sh um, scoring here, um, then once our score goes up and some spawn, right? There, yeah, so it goes up as you can see. Um, and I'm not sure why my computer's so slow right now. Um, that's really weird. Um, anyway, yeah, so there is spawning. Hooray, okay. And, and no, sorry, there is a score counter now, which is great, exactly what we wanted, right? Okay. Okay, so, uh, enough having fun. Uh, <laughs> um, let's, let's actually code some more. Okay, so, uh, now our score counter is working, so we can actually hide our variable, right? Um, let's just pause this. Let's hide the variable, right? Uh, let's hide the score variable because now it's showing, right? And let's uh, make enable this cloning again. Okay, so now we have uh, something that's okay here. Um, so I'm actually gonna change this to 0 0.3, so it, it's compatible with my computer here. Um, yeah, it's so slow. Um, as you can see, the shooting's really bad, uh, really big. Like so much, so many bullets. The the clones are shooting so many bullets because my computer is really slow. <laughs> so, as you can see, our scoring is working. Great. And even if we get what a hundred score. Yep, a hundred works. A hundred and twenty works. Um. Yep. A hundred and fifty. And uh, I, I, I'm probably not going to be able to get to like uh, a thousand, but um, it'll work, right? Uh, okay, so so that's what I wanted to add in this video. Um, uh, I should probably add um, power-ups because uh, I have time. <laughs> okay, so uh, power-ups. So power-ups, I kind of want the power-up to basically be able to make the player be able to switch the gun. So, um, I'm actually gonna get rid of this bit here. So, and this bit here. So now, yeah, it should actually stop. Okay, so uh, I'll just enable that again. I don't think that's what making my computer so slow. Um, okay, so, uh, so now we have a, now, so now we're gonna add uh, power ups, which is gonna basically make let's just save it, which is basically gonna be able to let the player upgrade uh, his or gun, uh, his or her gun. Okay, so uh, let's let's do that. So let's add a power up sprite. Um, I don't know what to do. Let's see. Uh, let's just draw something. I don't know what to draw. I'm I'm horrible at art. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, option. If you hold, yeah. If you're holding that option, you can do that. Uh, that's too small. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it with um, some kind of color like, um, oh, no. This is the consequence of having a really slow computer. Um, okay, let's put that like that. Let's increase the size of the border. Um, let's Eh, that doesn't look very good. Uh, let me just make it more orange. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna add a little plus sign in a, indicating that you can get more, um, more, more bullets. Right, okay. 
So now we have a power up. Great. So, um, actually, the um, power up is actually pretty much the same as the explosion because we want it to spawn. Um, we want it to spawn uh, every time an explosion spawns, but not every time an explosion spawns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take the explosion code here. Um, so we're gonna say. Um, I, I, I can just rewrite it, right? So, uh, okay. So I'm gonna say when I when green flag clicked, hide. Um, when I start as a clone, show. So, show. Okay. So, um, so actually, um, when it starts as a clone, I'm gonna just say go to x, and then actually we can just use the explosion x and explosion y variables. So. Um, we're just going to take this. There we go. Yep. So we can just take that. I I'm, I'm going to shrink it. Um, yes, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, duplicate it. Change it to explosion Y. Okay. So now, uh, now we need the, uh, the, uh, enemies to create clones of these. So, um, let's go to an, if and we want it to spawn not that op often, so I'm gonna say if and then equals if pick random one, two, um, four, uh, four, uh, is equal to one, All right? This is gonna be a one in four chance, then. Um, we're gonna create a clone, create a clone of not myself, create a clone of. What is it? Sprite one? Yes. No, Sprite two. Sprite two. Okay. So create clone of Sprite two. Inside this, we're going to say when I start as a clone. And I'm actually going to make it go down. So what, we're, what we can do is we can um, set an if. If uh, it's less than. So Y position. So motion. Y position. Y position is less than um, negative. Negative. One, um, seventy-five, right? So if y position is less than one seventy-five, oh no, we should actually do a repeat until, right? And drag that in there, um, and then change y by negative ten, sure, um, and then. Uh, and then after after it touches the bottom, we're gonna just delete this clone. Delete this clone. Okay, let's try it out. So if we get a power up, which should happen one in four times, it doesn't seem like it's happening. What's wrong? Let's see. Um, oh, there's one. There's one. Okay. So, yeah. So it works definitely. It just it's just slow. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's one. There's one. Yep. Okay. So it's working fine. Okay. Um, so as you can see, it's really slow though. Um, Scratch is really slow right now. Let me just get rid of this tab. Um, Okay, so I think it's unhappy that I'm filming filming for this long. Uh, okay, so um, so now we can add something for the player uh, to make the, it be able to collect. But I think I should probably do that next video because um, because my computer's annoyed at me for filming so long. So um, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share this channel with others. And um, it, and also, uh, this project is sh will be shared on my Scratch profile. So go check that out if you uh, when when you finish or if you want to check this project out. And also, thank you for watching. And see you at my website, howtodoethan.com. And see you next time. Bye. And save it. Save it. <laughs>